Hello everyone. Last time we have discussed const function. A const function is a member function that doesn't change member variables. So if a function that changes member variables, it cannot be a const function. Today, let's stay back and rethink the question. What does it really mean for a function to be const? For example, we have a class big array and the big array has a member variable v which is a huge vector of int. Big array also has another member variable access counter which keeps track of how many times v has been accessed. There's also a function get item which takes a parameter of index. It increment the access counter and then return an item of v at the position of index. From my programming model's point of view, this function get item really should be a const function because the vector of v is the primary data that I'm concerned with. The function get item did not change any value in v, it only take a peek at the item at the position of index. So the function get item really should be a const. This is my logic constantness of what a const function mean. However, if I compile this program, the compiler reports an error saying increment of member access counter in a read-only object. So the compiler disagree with me that this function get item can be a const function because I'm changing one, one of the member variables of access counter. So the compiler maintains the concept of bitwise constantness. As long as the function has made change to the member variables, it cannot be a const function. So there's a conflict between my model of logic constantness and uh, the C++ concept of bitwise constantness. How can we solve this conflict? The solution is we can make the member of access counter a mutable member. By making it a mutable member, this variable can be changed in a const function. So if we run this program again, now it can run through successfully. Just for the fun of it, even if C++ doesn't have the support of mutable members, we still have a solution. We could use const cast to cast away the constantness of this object and then increment the access counter. And this, let's run it. It also run through OK. However, as I said, cast is a hacky way of coding and you should use it only when you have to. Now let's consider another example. Say big array has another member called v2 and v2 is another big integer array. And it also has another member function called set v2 item and this apparently is not a const function. It is setting the value of v2. It sets the item of v2 at the position of index to be x. However, if we change this function to be a const function and run it, it still runs through OK. So even though in my programming model this is not a const function, the C++ compiler will happily accept it as a const function because this function has maintained the bitwise constantness of this class. It doesn't change any of the members directly. So this is another example of conflict between logic constantness and bitwise constantness. However, this conflict is easy to solve. All we need to do is remove the const and now this function is not a const function anymore. 
as a summary during the software design, if the logic constantness is what you are striving for, then you should use mutable members to implement the logic constantness. This wraps up our discussion about const. Lastly, let's have a quiz. Here is a declaration of function fun, and it has const integer pointer const fun const integer pointer const ref p const. What the heck is this? You can post your answer below as a comment and see if you can get everything correct. Good luck! That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you'll be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye-bye.